Hey guys, it's Christy. I wanted to share with you all my large crafters companion haul. I got a great big box in the mail last week and I've been waiting for my second small package that came yesterday so that I was able to shoot this video and show you everything all together. Um, I will say that a large part of this was part of the design team uh, welcome kit and a few things I purchased myself. I'm not going to disclose which is which just because I'm not really sure the company would want me to do that. But I will say that they were very, very generous and I just feel so blessed and honored to be part of this great team. And um, anyway, so thanks to them and I hope you guys enjoy this large haul. First off, I picked out this Mulberry Wood stamp. The Mulberry Wood line is my favorite of all the lines that Crafter's Companion carries. If you remember, um, it was their raccoon Christmas card that I made that actually caught their attention, which is how I ended up on their design team. So, And I just love the really cute images that they have. So this one is called Love You. And it features these two little kitties here with a garden of flowers. And it's got several sentiments. Where flowers bloom, so does love. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. For you, mom. And then there's some hearts and a XOX with the O being a heart. And that is a cling mounted pink rubber stamp. It's mounted on Easy Mount by Sunday International, which is sold through Crafters Companion. So I have that one. I also got this Mulberry Wood stamp called Birthday Wishes. Features this little cute pup and his kitty friend and a birthday cake and it says have the best birthday ever, happy birthday, sending you a birthday wish for a year that's as, amaz as amazing as you. So and again that's the easy mount cling foam and the photos are the actual size of the stamp. Um, so those are great. I really really love these stamps. And you can never have enough birthday stamps, especially, you know, my kids are constantly being invited to birthday parties with their little friends, so I need lots of birthday stamps, <laughs> so that'll be a good one. That will be versatile. I can color it different all the time. I also picked up this, uh, Say It With Flowers. This is from Popcorn the Bear, that's uh, that line, and this is called Souffle the Duck. And I thought this was a great set because it covers so many of the upcoming holidays. You've got Valentine's Day here. You've got um, just a general spring card or thank you or thinking of you that you could use. And this one would be great for Easter. And those again are the actual size of the stamp that's on the picture. It says right there images are shown at actual size. And um, it's got a, several sentiments. Say it with flowers. It's your special day. Big hugs. Best wishes. And um, that's the back there. Again, easy mount. And I don't know if you realize, but this um, comes on like its own sheet. And there's a binder that these all can go into, which I will get to later. So that's really nice. It's a really, really thick, um, well, it's a sheet of plastic actually. And so it's really durable and it's a nice way to store those. Um, I also got one of the Popcorn the Bear stamps. Again, there's Souffle the Duck. I just love that image. And uh, there's his little friend there. And this time he's holding some daffodils. And it says, get well soon for someone special and thank you. And again, this is the actual size. So this is quite large. That would cover pretty much... Um, let's see. Okay, well... There's just a card that I'm working on, but there you go. There's a regular standard size card, so he would pretty much take up most of the front of that, which is, you know, nice for a different look, and he wouldn't even fit this way, so. But he's a nice big image, and if any of you do like the 6x6 six six cards or anything like that, that would be a great size for you guys. And again, he's on that um, plastic sheet. And I got one die. This is called Embossalicious. And it's just the uh, swirl corner. It's a six by six embossing folder for those larger images, which you can always cut it down as well. I got a pack of ultra smooth premium white cardstock. Uh, this is Crafters Companion brand. It is super smooth. It has almost like a satiny finish. I'm very impressed with it so far. I've only printed out one sheet and I actually will show you that in a little bit, but the texture of it is really, really nice and I think it'll be great to move the ink around when you're coloring. So I have that. 
Let's see, I got a pack of the Crafters Companion Permanent Double-Sided Adhesive. This is extra strong, and I've heard from the other girls on the design team that this is their favorite of the small disposable adhesives. They said it's really, really sticky and better than any of the ones that they've tried anywhere, so I'm really excited to try that out. Okay, these two things I'll show together. I got some extra Easy Mount Mini storage panels. Uh, these you can put extra stamps right on there that will take either the clear or the cling mount stamps. And this is the case. It's just a plastic case made of really strong durable plastic. And then um, this is how the binder rings open. You just pull those up and then you can slip those on there and close it up. And then you have a nice um, clear case that's easy to slip on your shelf stores very nicely and I'll be able to keep all my crafters companion stamps on there. In fact with these um, extra sheets that I got I think I can fit two of these mulberry wood stamps on there and then I can just like adhere that with some tape or something to the panel so I know what it is. So that's nice. Okay the rest of the stuff sort of goes together too so here we go. <laughs> I got the entire 72 piece uh, essentials, well not the essentials, but the main Spectrum Noir marker kit. I took them out of the package. I was like so anxious to try them out and I held out and held out and held out waiting for that second package so I could film the video and then, I don't know, last night I was like I have got to bust these out. So. I opened them all. But anyway, this is the packaging. I got the Essentials Kit, and um, this one also includes the Blender Pen and the True Black, as well as some basic uh, essentials. I got the Pale Hues, which is the Flesh Tones. I got the Reds, Pinks, Yellows, Greens, Turquoise, Blues, Purples, Browns, warm grays and cold grays. So all together that's a very nice starter set of markers. Um, there are additional sets. There are four additional sets of 24. None of the sets overlap any of the markers. All of them just fill in the set. So this is what I have so far. I filled out my color sheet and this is that Crafters Companion paper. Um, I don't know if you can tell but it is really, really smooth. Um, but anyway, um, so this is the s all the markers that I got in my kit. I went ahead and printed out my color chart and colored those in. So I'm really excited to get more familiar with the Spectrum Noirs. I do notice some differences from my Copics. Um, for one thing, they have a chisel end like the Copics but the other end is a bullet tip which is like the original Copics but not like the um, sketch markers that I am used to so it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve but I've already noticed some positives it does definitely seems like they have a more precise control because of the very small nib um, to get into small places and I noticed also that the ink doesn't seem to bleed as much like I could pretty much get right up to the line and not have it bleed out especially with the lighter shades that have less saturation so I will definitely have a video for you guys on that upcoming comparing the Spectrum Noirs to Copics and also some basic coloring videos as I get used to them because I know that not everybody has the budget for Copics. Copics are quite expensive. I know we actually sell these Spectre Noirs at AC Moore where I work and they retail for $14.99 for a set of six and you can always buy them with a half off coupon which means that you would get them for seven dollars. If you consider that the Copics in most retail places cost between $5.99 and $7.99 per one marker, the Spectrum Noirs are definitely much less expensive and more budget friendly. 
I still love my Copics. I'm not advocating the Spectre Noirs at this point because, like I said, I've just opened them. But so far from what I've seen, I am impressed. And I definitely think that if you are a person who is really wanting to try out alcohol markers, but you just don't have the budget to try enough Copics to get a feel for how they blend, the Spectrum Noirs might be a better option for you. But like I said, I will have more videos forthcoming. The other things I got were they sent me two pen cases. These hold up to 36 pens a piece, so that means it would be able to take my entire 72 marker set uh, with me if I were to go anywhere that I would want to color, you know, to crops or anything like that. I would have those with me. But what I also got was the Crafter's Companion new um, marker organizer, the pen racks. Let's see if I can scoot it onto the video. I am going to do a separate video, um, actually as soon as I'm done filming this one, to show you guys more about that because it really needs its own video. But hopefully, if you guys can see, that organizes all my markers right there. And even if you're not into Spectrum Noirs, these organize any kind of marker pretty much that's on the market except for like the wide Copics. It would take your Copic sketches, it would take your Copic chows, it would take any kind of memento or um, Stampin' Up, American Crafts, any kind of uh, marker that's um, standard size that's used on the market right now. And it is a great organizational tool. I've just put it together last night and I already love it. So, um, Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the Crafter's Companion pen rack video. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye-bye.